Good morning, good morning. When you become a junior in the nursing program at Tennessee Tech, you get a special white coat. It's a big moment to get this white coat. You need to know that to understand this story. Buck Honeycutt and Abby McCulley walk and talk on the way to class. It is a timeless image of two college students who yeah, become friends. <laughs> but how they became friends. Born out of this awful wreck. Buck was driving down to deliver a prosthetic to a friend in White County on Highway 111 when someone hit him head on. Abby McCull is a volunteer firefighter in White County. She rendered aid. When EMS got there, they have to cut everything off of you just because we weren't sure if he had any kind of neck injury or anything like that, so we didn't want to risk injuring anything further if he did have a neck injury or something like that. It just so happens Buck was wearing his brand new precious Tennessee Tech nursing white coat. A coat that you can only wear when you make it to your junior year in nursing. Abby's a special education major, but she knows about the white coats. And I had always heard from people here, here on campus saying like, you know, it's just so hard to get into the nursing school. It's such a tedious program. Um, and you have to earn that lab coat and just it getting cut off. It was like a gut punch. And how about Buck laying there with a broken leg watching his precious coat cut to ribbons? He understood why, of course, but it still hurt. The coat means something to me because you aren't really allowed to wear it until you go through your white coat ceremony. Tennessee Tech doesn't give you a coat because they want you to go get your own coat. So my parents drove up and they picked out a coat for me, which was really special because it was like from my parents. You know, they drove up for me. It was a big thing. A couple of other big things happen. While Buck was being life flighted for surgery, one of the flight nurses really made an impression by staying with Buck after the flight right up to his leg surgery. Sounds like you saw yourself. I think I saw what I kind of wanted to be. I think I saw the kind of person that was like, wow, I want to be somebody that makes an impact. I want to be somebody that makes a difference. And then another big thing happened. Abby McCullough went to her mentor, Associate Provost Julie Baker, and asked, can we replace Buck's white coat? Done. We have some really awesome students, and so they are they are connected to each other, you know, in ways that we don't even know. They are connected to campus and this community that we have at Tennessee Tech, and it, it says a lot about them. It says a lot about their values and, you know, their integrity and, you know, their, um, their commitment to not just their college career, but just humanity in general. Oh, what a great story. Yeah. Again, Dennis, love it. Abby McCauley, so impressive, you know, just to, to go beyond. But then if you're a volunteer fireman and you're a special ed teacher, you know you have a heart, right? A heart oh, yes. for service, yes. heart to give and help. I love something you said, too, while we were watching that story. You said, you know, a lot of people right now are down on the young people of the world, and you really enjoy bringing these stories of young people who are doing great things. Right, right. I mean, so all these young people, all they do is look at their phone. And yeah. you know what? I, I mean, these are great people. Mm -hmm. There's great people. Mm -hmm. And they didn't even like look at their phone once the whole time we were working. <laughs> That's the good stuff. Well, we're, we're, bringing, we're bringing the positivity, Dennis. That's Thank right.